Huskies a winner today in a pitcher's duel 2 to nothing over Memphis to clinch their fifth straight American Conference Series. We're joined with head coach Jim Penders. Coach, you knew against one of the best arms in the country and Jonathan Boland that was going to be a low-scoring game, and your arms really stepped up today. Jeff Kirsten, awesome today for you guys. That slider looked really good for you. It him. really did. I mean, uh, Boland, yeah, you're right. He was one of the best pitchers we're going to see all year, and and uh, he was very good. He was as advertised at that late-breaking, you know, if it's a cutter or slider, whatever he calls it. It was it was a very tough pitch, but we had two two-out RBIs against them, and um, you know, he's very poised. You can see why he's very, very good. Uh, but uh, our guy was just as good. I mean, our, you know, he's a guy who's, who's kind of been in any and every role, and he's just yes, sir, no, sir. Yep, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Great quality to have in, in anybody on your team. He's a fantastic teammate. He's always moving tarps. First one, you know, I mean, he, 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 there's no job too little for him. He's got a great work ethic, and uh, I was ha ha really happy for him. His parents are here to see him from the West Coast, and boy, he really rose to the occasion. He was excellent. He threw a great slider in the first inning to Williams, uh, first at bat, and I, thought, and I remarked to, to Coach Des in the, in the dugout of Coach Oregon, that was really good. That was better than he's had. And had some depth and some late bite, and he really, you know, he really used that. He used all three, and he had a good mix. But when he lost the fastball location late, he was really relying on that slider, and they didn't seem to be able to square it up. He started it. PJ closed it. PJ looked electric there in the last two innings. Six strikeouts for PJ as he gets his 12th save. Yeah, he was. Uh, he hadn't pitched in a little bit, and that's rare, rare for him. But um, you know, I just I love seeing his bounce on the mound, and, and um, he's got really good stuff. So. Uh, great way to nail it down. Jake was uh, a little gassed today, but he wanted the ball. He said he was ready to go, and, and he did what his job was tonight, which was to set it up for P.J. Just give us one inning to bridge it to P.J., and, and he did that. So uh, got to get the series when you can. We've got a two-run lead there. Would have liked that a little bit more. But uh, tomorrow it's going to be all hands on deck, and, and um, you know hopefully we can get out, get out front first and make them chase us. But... Um, you know, I, I expect to get them. You know, to give us a good, a good tussle again tomorrow. Every every game in this conference is a tussle, so uh, we got to come with our best tomorrow. In a tight game like this, every little play matters. A dirt ball read for Prado eventually sets up Zach Susie's RBI single. Yeah, that's right. And I didn't remark on that in the huddle, and I should have. It's a good job by you. Uh, two two out RBIs. You know, and, and it all started that that inning started with two outs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Isaac uh, did a really good job. Uh, you know, just taking a single there, RBI. Uh, Anthony Prado doesn't call, doesn't fall for Santana's really good deke at home plate. Runs right through it, slides hard through through the plate. Um, Troy Stefanski with an unbelievable defensive play. You know, throwing that runner out to end the fifth or sixth, and then in the seventh, making a great running catch with one out uh, deep in the gap. He played really good defense today. Uh, not too many negatives, other than Seuss getting picked or getting doubled off uh, from 127 feet away, um, not being able to change directions too quickly. There, uh, there were no negatives on our side. So, uh, limited the free 90s, couple HPPs, and a couple walks. That was it. And uh, guys are playing well. You know, we had four days off, and it's always it's always nerve wracking for a coach when you have that time off. Uh, they've done, you know, they've done a good job bouncing back from finals. So. Hopefully we can come out and give them a give them a good one tomorrow. Have play another full complete game and uh, and get out of here with a W. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Chris.